What's up everybody, it's me Crypto Ben and today guys we're going to talk about Pepe and everything that's been happening to Pepe for the last couple of days here. We're going to do some price analysis and check out all the latest news here for this coin. So don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for more awesome crypto videos. Let's go guys. Here we are on Crypto Bubbles. We can now check out most of the cryptos here and we can see that most of the market is actually doing a massive correction and Pepe is not an exception here. Pepe is also doing a bit of a correction here. Right now we can see a couple of cryptos are actually going up. We got Doge here that's up by 15%. We got Brett here that's up by 5%. Crow up by almost 18% which is really interesting to see with up by 8%. But we also got some cryptos, like I said, that are, that are correcting. We have Bong here down by 7%, Ship down by 6%, and look, we can see Pepe here down by 6.5%. So most of the market is either stabilizing, but a couple of coins are still going up. Bitcoin is massively going up right now. We're going to talk about that pretty soon here, but we got to check out first Pepe coin on but we first have to check out Pepe on coin market cap. So right now, the market cap for Pepe is at five billion dollars, which is awesome to see. The volume here is up by a hundred and thirty percent. So we're at four point six billion dollars here for the volume, which is really, really, really good to see. That means that people are buying. We can see momentum happening here to Pepe, and the future of Pepe does look pretty bright. For where we are standing right now we i am pretty bullish on pepe right now we also have some big uh, big big news that have been happening here but before that i want to check out something here we got binance here most of the volume is coming from binance binance is really helping pepe to grow people are buying pepe through binance which is really really cool to see but uh if we do check out in the last seven days so like i said we are going down right now we did make a 6% correction, but in the last 7 days, we're up by 46% here for Pepe, which is pretty bullish if you're asking me. But we also got some pretty big bullish news, and that's here from Kraken Pro saying the news everyone is talking about. We got Pepe is now available for trading to US clients. So people from the US can now trade Pepe coin uh, through Kraken. So anybody who's in, in the US who's using Kraken can now buy Pepe, which is really, really bullish here for Pepe. Also, Robinhood enabling European users to purchase Pepe. Massive. That's massively bullish for Pepe here. More people getting access to buying the coin legally and safely. That's what we need, and this is just amazing to see. We also have a big... Uh, Post here saying Ethereum and Pepe prices soar post election. Here is what analysis and now analysts expect in the near term future. So a couple of things here about Pepe. So Pepe sees green charts everywhere as one of the top meme coins. In the past week alone, the, the Pepe price jumped over 10% according to Core Market Cap. Furthermore, the market cap also increased from 3.9 billion to 4.4 billion in that period. And like we, like I said a couple, <laughs> like a couple of minutes ago, right now we're at five billion market cap. So while this surge was fueled by Donald Trump's presidential victory, Robinhood's support also contributed to it. To clarify, Robinhood added um, the Pepe coin to its European platform. With this development, people will be able to earn Pepe rewards and a one percent deposit bonus. Massive, massive thing here for. Pepe, like I said, we got a couple, a couple of analysts here saying that Pepe has a massive chance here and it will continue to go up. People are bullish for Pepe. Generally, people right now are bullish for crypto. And the biggest reason for that is, of course, Bitcoin. We're going to check out Pepe here in a minute. But first, I want to talk about Bitcoin just a little bit because guys, you have to understand you need to watch Bitcoin because if Bitcoin does something bad, then most of the cryptos will go down. But if we have a bullish Bitcoin right now, where Bitcoin is hitting $82,000, new all time highs, we're breaking old all time highs. And I did mention to you this well, a, a long time ago actually that we are forming that cup and handle, and the cup and handle did form in the end. And like I said, we did break through new all time highs. 
Bitcoin go, going up. I did make a couple of speculations. I didn't believe the Bitcoin will go back to some lows. I thought that maybe we could have reached uh, maybe say 50k and 10 tried to continue later on to go up but because of the presidential election because donald trump did win in the end uh, and donald trump is bullish on crypto people just started to massively invest again into bitcoin and this is going to be just amazing for the future of crypto so massive cup of handle here the graph in the end form and my prediction was that because of this graph here we should be reaching all the way here to hundred and twenty thousand dollars here for bitcoin that is a possibility just because of this graph here because i measured it basically we should be rounding up to that number to hundred thirty thousand dollars here for bitcoin which is massively massively good so what does that mean for you who are trading for Pepe? That means you still have a lot of time here for Pepe to grow because Bitcoin reaching that kind of number, or at least a, or, or at least a hundred thousand dollars, it's gonna take some time. It's not gonna it's not gonna happen just in one day or two. It's gonna take probably a couple of months or something like that because we're gonna need some stabilization. Right now we're super overbought. Uh, probably gonna reach maybe a little bit more, but after that stabilization. And then trying to reach new highs. I still the we're still in that bull run. We're still making new gains. Let's talk about Pepe right now. So, am I still bullish on Pepe? Can Pepe uh, somehow continue to go up and break to, to some new highs? So, first let's check out the uh, the chart. Last time I did some anal analysis here, we can see that we were in this wedge and we did break through. Now, a really good thing is that we just made a higher high so we're not making lower highs we're making higher highs every single time now we're gonna try to go up and up and up but look at this we have a lot of problems here because this area is heavily guarded what does that mean that means that we need to break through 0 0.0013 uh, here if we want to see pepe going higher but we got rejected three times already so this is the first time second time third time we're getting rejected in this area. So this is a really heavy area here for Pepe. But if we do break through, we're gonna see some massive gains. Some massive gains are happening if we break to 0 0.0013. That's the only way I can see Pepe actually going up. Now, some bullish signs on this graph here. We can see that we made a bullish cross here on the one day chart, which is awesome. And again, we didn't make a bearish cross a bearish cross will look something like this where these blue and red lines would cross this giant orange line basically but we didn't do that uh, the blue line did cross here but we bounced back off we made that bullish golden bullish cross and now we can continue here to go up because i'm pretty bullish for crypto right now i do believe the pepis has a lot of room here to grow especially that we can see the kraken Robinhood. Binance, most of the big exchanges did list this coin. Pepe, as Pepe, is a massive meme. People just love Pepe. They eat it all up. And I do believe that Pepe still can continue to go up to some newer highs. I don't really have a price prediction for Pepe, what's the target, but we can do that for the short term. So if we measure from this low, actually from this high to this low, we can see all of the levels where we had troubles. So the target should be at 0, 0, 0, 0.0016. That's the next massive target here. What could a bearish scenario that could happen if we do get rejected here, but I don't believe that's gonna happen, is that we're making, look at this, we're still in a massive wedge here, but I don't believe this scenario is gonna happen, but I just wanna show you that this is something that is happening. Like this trend like this could continue where we just continue here to slowly die down where you bounce up, down, up, down, and yeah, just stabilization and nothingness. Again, I don't believe that this scenario is realistic because of Bitcoin and because of crypto. If Pepe uh, didn't even jump at all after the presidential election, then I would tell you guys, yeah, basically we're gonna go down and it's gonna be horrible, but we actually did increase here by 50%. So people are interested into this coin, we just have to be patient, and that's it. 
We're gonna see slowly what's gonna happen here in the Pepe. I'm still super bullish that we have a lot of potential to go up. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be it here for this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.